Well, good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel and I'm here again on the beautiful York Peninsula and I am here targeting an iconic South Aussie species and that is the King George Whiting. Now I haven't had much luck um, this winter with the King George so hopefully today that luck changes but I'll give you the hot tip right now. It is absolutely freezing out here, sort of low single digits, probably one or two degrees. I'm freezing my little backside off right now, so I need to get warm. I need to get this kayak off the roof and let's get out there. I'll see you out there. Hew. There's almost a, a feeling of paddling into the unknown at the moment. I haven't fished this spot for a good three or four months. Ideally, I would have liked to have uh, fished this spot sort of two months ago, but the weather didn't allow for it, um, or at least a month ago. But the weather has been quite poor to fish this spot, especially um, on the sort of on the kayak so I've been really patiently waiting for a weather window of where it's not just going to be full flat out disgusting out here and I've got that weather window for the next two days today nice sort of partly cloudy or mostly cloudy day tomorrow is going to be a bit of a different story it's going to be raining pretty much all day now, I don't know about you guys but every time I see swans um, I, it's, it's just like a good luck omen to me. So, like, knock on wood. But every time I see swans, it seems to be like a session does all right. So, let's see how we go out here. Nice, chilled out, simple paddle this morning. Let's see how we go. I'm keen. Tell you what, there's got to be at least 200 black swans just cruising out here right now. I've never seen so many out here. Look at them all. It must be like a, a bit of a swan breeding ground or feeding ground either or. They're bloody everywhere. <laughs> yeah, look at their heads. <laughs> run, run, run. <laughs> oh, their little feet scampering along. How funny. Should mention that tied on is the evergreen UV1001S, I believe the color code is. It's a brand new squid jig to the uh, Strictly Squidding store. So we're just giving it a bit of a test out. I've never thrown this jig before. So, so we'll see how it travels. Looks very, very good. That's why I got it in, because it looks absolutely amazing. Let's see, just anchored up. Let's see if we can't find them straight away. Now, these are my own bloodworms that I caught during the bloodworm run. I've preserved them in metho. So let's see how we go. So if you don't know how to bite a, or oh, bait, sorry, a, a whiting, it's quite easy. You can do it whichever way possible to get the sort of bait on the hook, but always, always, always leave a dangle like that but I'm gonna make him move because you know, quite often where there's loads of weedy whiting like this, it's over dense seagrass, and that's not the bottom that I'm looking for. I'm looking for quite the opposite actually. I'm looking for certainly dense seagrass in and around there, but I'm looking for mainly um, sand holes and broken bottom. I'm just not getting that here at this current moment in time. Actually looks a bit more sandy just here. Let's give it a try. Just in close to where we anchored. Let's change up the bottom of where we're fishing just slightly. Sometimes those slight differences, those slight changes can make all the difference. So we'll just plonk out a little cast. 
I'm definitely onto a whiting here. Oh. It got me in the weed. Hoo -hoo. This is definitely a whiting. It's a nice one too. Come here. Oh. Oh, I love the runs on these things. And he's in. That's a legal one as well. Yes, sir. On the board. That is a nice one. It's a, just a perfect eater. Golly, I, I've been struggling to catch these things so much. And boy, is it good just to get onto the board. Wow, how's the hit on this thing? This is a good fish. This is a nice one. Oh, <laughs> come here, come here. Yes, 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 yes. We're on to another one. Oh, and they go absolutely bonkers in the boat or in the kayak. Just as we get some uh, some company. Chill out there with your mate down there, fella. That's a good fish. That is a really good whiting. It's all about just when the tide started to run, these fish is coming out to play. Here's another George. This thing is going nuts. Oi, 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 oi. Just relax, big fella. Then you get, that's a good whiting. That is a ripper. That is a really solid fish. Tell you what, there's been heaps of those size fish. This year, I reckon if the bag limit, or the, sorry, the size limit was 31 centimetres, I'd have another buddy 40 fish, I reckon, for this season. There's just been so many that have just been just under. It's good for the overall sort of health of the system, but for fishermen like me, it's just mildly infuriating. really starting to come on the tune now. As soon as that bait hits the bottom, they're all over it. Like that. <laughs> um, excuse me? These things are cool. Oh, get up. This is a good fish as well. This is a beauty. Come here. Come here. It's not done just yet. That is a ripper of a King George. Wow. short sharp little jab oh this thing is only just woken up oh my goodness hello you are a good un. you are a good un. look at him Woohoo! yes 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 that's a nice one Oh, I'm onto a good fish here. Just let out a little bit more ankle on. 
and I'm on to a really nice one. Oh, this is a good fish. This is a monster. Oh. Um, this is a monster. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. This thing is huge. Holy shit. Is that a PB? Holy. What? That thing is huge, man. That thing is massive. Yeah, out there. Seems to be a popular spot these days. Plenty of boats trying their luck. Jeez, this thing took it. I think this is a decent fish and it just hasn't woken up. Oh no, it is a decent whiting, but I've just got a, a dead weight on the under side of it. And I don't care if that other little fish gets off because that there needs to be like a keeper whiting. That is just going absolutely bunter. Go for some squid. It's a bit in the, the ultra shallow stuff here. Sitting in. Geez, 1.7, we are very shallow. Sometimes these squid, they love to play in the shallows. Got the evergreen UV. Oh, we've got one, we've got one following it. Look at him, 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 look at him. Come on, eat it again. Oh. Literally first cast. Oi, oi, oi. It's a nice little tacker there. Some really good whiting bait. <laughs> cast it back out. Wow, wee. That was instant, instantaneous squid mortai. The UV 1001 S, I believe the color code is. The <laughs> The evergreens, I'm not as good at remembering, remembering the names because they are all over the shop. They're just numbers and letters, but I'm sure they have a meaning. They're much, much harder to remember. But this one here, a new one, a newcomer to the Strictly Squidding store. You can get your hands on one of these right now. I'll leave a, a link in the description down below to this jig. It is a... Very, very, very good looking jig. We have a squid chasing, finally. It's only very, very, oh, it's so timid. It's coming over. It's got it. Oh, it let go. It let go. It's got a snook at it. Now he's got it. Yeah, jeez, look at how shallow I am right now. Oi, little bastard. Come here. That is a beauty. Let's get a hold up of him on the UV 1001S. Look at him. He's a good squid, that one. Got another little squid here. Didn't actually see this one hit then. It was very, very camouflaged over that broken ground. It's not an awful long amount of time since the last one. 
That's a beauty. Definitely just plonk a cast out just where we got that one from. See if there isn't more hanging around in there. It's just been singular ones at the moment today, which is very interesting. Normally you see them sort of come in in packs or twos or threes. But just singular ones is very, very unusual. There's another one. I thought I saw one just poking its head in. And we've got it. Not as big, by any means. But still, a nice little squid. We'll just cast it back out there again because I'm not sure if I saw another one. I knew that if I let it sink for a longer amount of time just in that zone, it was a good chance that one would take it. This sort of squid had it. And that's this fella, and he had a mate with him. And the mate just swam off in that direction there. There he is. Oh, there's a pack of them. Oh, there's a pack of them. Look at them. Oh, eat it. Eat it. Oh, hang on. I'm going to go over this side. Oh, just eat it. There he is. Oh, that's a bigger one of them too. Right on the crown. And plonk it back in there. I hope you saw that. That was pretty cool. <laughs> oh, they're hitting it. Oh, he had it. Come on. Come on. Where are you? Oh my goodness, there are heaps. One was just out just a little bit further using the 90 plus degree angle technique. Oh, that was one. I'm not sure if you saw that. That was 100% one. I had a hold of that then, but he let go. See if they come back. Just like that. It's not a very big one. Oh, you fucker. There he is, little fella. Not a bad little one. Righto, we are back in from a very successful session. Managed to get my bag limit of 10 King George Whiting. Got about nine squid. Now the GoPro went flat out there, so I think I documented the first maybe six or so, but I think uh, got all 10 King George on camera, which is pretty schmick now. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video so far. Um, there is more to come tonight, obviously. The camp has been pretty well set up. Got the uh, the kayak just chilling out there. Found the net, good news there. We've got our table, portable charges. This is a new purchase, see how this fellow goes. And then, uh, oh, actually, got the old school wog coffee. As you can see, already had some bloody good stuff this come back to that later because the main event the fire is on and it's looking pretty schmick at the moment it's a little bit hot but I mainly just put this thing on because the flies were next level and still are next level at the moment they are so annoying Woo, looking very, very nice. I'll tell you what, this is a well-deserved coffee. It's so good. Now, um, tomorrow's plan. Hopefully, we get out there again. Now, the weather tomorrow is looking less 
than desirable for us. It's going to be raining, so hopefully um, we can get out pretty quickly and not get too satched. But that means it's no, not really that good for filming. So hopefully I can get some content for you guys tomorrow. The tide's also not as good, so um, it'll probably be all in the one video today, tonight, and tomorrow. So fingers crossed all goes well. If you see this video is a bit longer at the tail end from now, it means that I've caught some fish tomorrow. If it's short, then, uh, then it means I definitely haven't. But just soaking up the last little bit of sun, keeping these flies at bay. My God, they are very, very friendly at the moment. I'm just sitting back from the fire at the moment because it is roasting. But just the views, just soaking it up. As I ponder the day's fishing over what's left of this coffee, um, Matt's Fishing Escapes mentioned me in his video and he mentioned my article that I wrote in SA Angler and I thought, you know what, I'm going to steal his idea a little bit here. I'm going to shout out SA Angler and Matt's Fishing Escapes as well. But SA Angler, they've been supporting me for a long time now. I've been writing articles in that magazine for the last couple of years and it's been a fantastic experience and I continue to write in, um, in SA Angler. So if you haven't checked out my recent article, it is on um, how to effectively squid new locations. So for a lot of you beginner anglers out there or anglers who are venturing out, it's a fantastic article for you. It's free online now at SA Angler. So just type that in um, in your browser and it'll come up. And it is a, it's a pretty good read, but also a good read in this edition as well of SA Angler is Matt's topic on men's mental health. It's such a important topic these days and um, it's often often hard to talk about and Matt did a fantastic job of, of talking about it and um, yeah if you're interested in that topic at all give it a read SA Angler and a big shout out to, to Matt's Fishing Escapes who is a fantastic advocate for men's mental health and the sun has set fairly quickly and if the audio is different it's because I'm on my phone but I saw something quite cool over here just before. Yeah, he's still there. He or she. A beautiful little huntsman spider there. Some actually fairly friendly little guys. If he was a bit more in the open, I'd give you a bit more of a closer look in my hand. But they're very, very friendly little guys. It's all part about being out here in the in the bush, but Look at that. Welcome back, day number two. Now, as you can see, the conditions are heaps different. We've got loads of overcast clouds, really dense, rainy stuff coming over. Looks like we're in a bit of a clear patch at the moment, but the water, as you can see behind me, glass off until we get out a little bit further but that's okay so hopefully the whiting will be on um i'm gonna belly up i'm gonna de-head all the squid and shovel that in the belly cage and see if that can bring them around because the tide isn't as ideal as what it was yesterday so hopefully we can get them around we're getting to that point of the day where we're launching how good go underneath that fella Oh yeah, now it's polar opposites. Brought the net along with me this time, so I haven't forgotten that. May have forgotten something else. So we've got the barely cage as well with us. Which, yeah, barely cage is still there. It may be not enough rope for six meters of rope, which will be interesting, but I'll try and entice the bite of these whiting somehow. Let's see how we go. Ching. Our first mark. Now yesterday on regular mark of holy moly and I don't think I was anchored on it properly. I was getting a lot of weedies and I was hooking a lot of seaweed so I reckon I was just off the uh, just off the mark. So today hopefully I can posi myself a lot better on that mark. I've got a mark slightly to the right that's called Tingers 
that's a good spot. That whole area's got a lot of uh, broken bottom, so hopefully I can get on the money this time. That's what, um, for, for whiting and squid and, and the like of those sort of uh, animals and those target species, what, it's hard to recognize what bottom is good bottom especially if you've if you're in grounds that are quite consistently broken it can be a bit hard to find like the one spot but if you're on a clear day have a squeeze in the water you'll see like mounds and depressions if if that hole if that broken bottom has lots of mounds made by worms and lots of depressions caused by feeding then it would be a fantastic choice if it's just a flat hard sand bottom then I would rethink uh, your choices there. So look for look for interesting sand in in and amongst that broken bottom. But also look for depressions, look for gutters, because quite often the current will rip through those little areas. And it, even on a small tide like today, you can get a little bit of movement, which can cause the trigger of these fish to bite. Some of the squid heads from yesterday, and they will be the burly of choice just because I don't have anything else. If I had other stuff, I'll definitely add the squid head still, but I'll also add you know some pilchards, some whiting nuts, a bit of everything really. Maybe some bread in there as well. But this is all we have, and I'm under the, the firm belief of. Having it on tides like these is better than not having it. So we'll whack that down there. Whack it down there, brilliant. Now, we're onto something here. Looks to be a King George. That's not a bad start. I'm not sure if it's legal or not, but it'd have to be close. He hit that like an absolute freight train then. I missed a bite just before it as well. Let's see how, how he measures up. Yeah, he's a legal fish. What a start. That's a good fish. Well, that's a very good fish. Oh, I've got to try and get him away from that burly cage. Oh, what a fight. Get. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. That's a real good fish. Oh, yeah. Woo hoo hoo. That is a real good one. Yes. Yes. What a fish. That would be sort of high 30s. That is a, this is when you start to sort of think that they're a real solid fish. Now I know they're no like, you know, deep sea monster body, 50, 60 centimeter whiting, but that there, it's about as good at eating size as you'll ever see. Hooked up to another George here. It's a good fish too. It's a good George in the net you get. Yes, yes, yes. It's just enough King George here at the moment. It's just keeping me interested. This thing's gone absolutely nuts. I think we're on one. Oh my god, the Tommies down there are mental. But we've got one. Finally. We've got one. It's another legal one. Go in the esky. This is a 
another good fish. Still whiting. Don't, don't get me around. Oh my God. Hello, hello, hello. Yep, 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 yep. Ow. This thing's just going nuts. It's another legal one. How good. Decent whiting, but it just didn't put up a fight. I thought it was another undersized one, so I didn't turn the GoPro on. And sure enough, of course, it's another decent sized whiting there. They're on to a good fish here. Oh. It's a good whiting. Yes. Come here, mate. Come here. Yes, yes, yes. That's a nice one. That's number eight. Stay still for me. That's a really solid one. It's all happening. This fish is going nuts. Yep, there's another legal one. That's nine. We've got one more. One more to the bag. Can I get the bag on camera? Oh, this could be a good fish. It hasn't really taken line. It's a whiting though. I reckon that might be a legal one too. Oh, what is going on? In you get. We'll check his size, but that could be the bag limit. Right, well, can you just relax? Just a touch. It looks sized. We'll check and we'll double count. We'll double check the, the count again. If this guy's sized. is 33 centimeters so we've got three eight nine that's a good one do we have ten there's the tommy and lucky last ten Blue swimmer. <laughs> you are kidding me. You are kidding me. On the burly cage, followed it all the way up, and we've got a legal size blue swimmer. Are you kidding? <laughs> you can't write this stuff. You quite literally cannot write this stuff. All, all these uh, little bits and bobs can go to feeding the, the tings for future years and future sessions. All them can go and uh, potentially feeding crabs as well, apparently. <laughs> you are kidding. That is hilarious. Now we're gonna try and go in and find some squid. If we can't, then we'll just jump off the water. We don't need uh, too much more, but I'd like to get some more squid to be honest, because I don't have much left in the freezer at the moment to the shallows and now oh it's time number one to stand up and stretch out my legs and number two it's time to see if we can't find any hungry calamari now attached onto the squidding rod is the Gancraft leather jacket there's a squid not a bad one either just had a touch from it and then let it sink back down and he 
jump back on it. How yeah, good. We'll net this one. It's not a bad start, to be honest, compared to yesterday. That's bigger than any of the ones that I got yesterday as well. How good is that fella? Right there. Cast straight back out to where that guy was. It's just drifting past, where are we? A squid mark that I'd made probably a little while ago. There's his mate. Hoo -hoo! Did not even have to work it, baby. That's what I like. We'll get this guy in. See if there's more out there. Just remember where I am, just inside of that mark. There he is. Leather jacket is such a dominant jig. You'd have to be crazy not to have it in your squid tackle box and that's why it's uh, available on the store because of how prolific and how good this squid jig actually is at doing its job. It is miraculous. This is a good squid. This is a good squid. Oh my. It was way out on the cast. There it is surfacing out there. This is a good squid. This is why it's so important to have your drag set just that little bit looser. Hard enough or tight enough that the barbs go in nicely, but loose enough that the real big ones can pull and take their string. Sort of do as they please almost. As long as you keep that pressure applied on these larger models. Oh, this is a good one. This is a very good squid. Where were these guys yesterday? He's a nice one. He, or she, I should say, that is a beauty. Have a look at that. Let's not waste any time. Let's get straight back out there. Let's see if there's any more where that came from. That was very close to the last patch that we got. One is a bit too small to keep. So we'll plonk him back. Let's see if there's another one out there though. I've moved in close because the snook have once again started to ruin the squid party out deep every cast I'm getting hit and I don't want to just be out there to lose lures so every cast getting smoked by a snook and one of them had its lead, had my leader in its mouth and it chafed it so that's that I'll leave the snook to have fun out there and I'll catch the squid in here there's another one this one feels not much better to be honest even smaller somehow there, mate. <laughs> I've done a bit of some improvising here and I'll show you what I've done in a second. I'll reach about sort of five meters of water here. I want a slightly longer drift because now that we're sort of drifting in, I don't want to have to keep on going out 50 meters, drift for you know maybe two minutes and then get back up and have to do it again. So I'm going to brave the snook out here for a little while just because I've got a little secret weapon up my hand. So I hit five meters, that's exactly what I want. I'll just change the angle slightly now that I'm out here. And what I've done is nothing short of genius. I have my squidding, or my new teaser rod aka my ultralight whiting rod i've chopped off the hooks so i've just got a length of leader almost here and that is going to go perfectly in the rod holder here 
chuck that down there. Let's see if it comes for the for the jig. He's quite timid. He's got it. It's not a bad one either. He snaffled it. Oh yeah. Now we'll quickly get this fella back out there. Just in case there's another one. I don't think there was, but this here, this is a nice squid. Nice eater. Real nice eater. In the get. There he is. There he is. He's got it. Oh. Yes. He's on. Let me just we'll whack the teaser. Do a bit of uh this is just a big kerfuffle. Net this fella, not that. Transfer him from inside the net to outside the net to chilling out right there. And we're going to have a quick look at that fella on the leather jacket yet again. Look at him. It's a nice squid actually. Oh, little uh, little squirty poop. Gonna go back to Pineapple House and see if there's any squid hanging around there. It's in a bit deeper of a, of a zone, so the teaser will get right down there. The teaser with the little sinker attached to the front it will jump right down the bottom. And that will be quite effective if there are squid hanging around a little bit deeper. This head. The drift is sort of coming back this way now. The winds almost swung to like a west southwest. Stalking it. Come on. Let's drop it down a little bit more. There you go. He's got it in his sights. Nailed it. Oh, this is a big boy. This is a very, very big squid. And we've just nailed it. Whack the teaser just back in. A little bit of chaos, that's okay. Look at him, that's a beauty. That's number, if we can get him in, number 14. What a squid, here he comes. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That is a very, very good squid. Let's get a hold up of this fella. That there is a very nice squid. That's a fat female, that one. Whoa. Been some good ones around today. What a beauty. Yeah, there's a squid on it for sure. Let's whack that in the rod holder. Oh, I've got one on here. Oh, it's all happening. Just a little pack. Just much to. Oh! Stop it. No. There was a boat. Where did it go? It nicked off. Whack this fella in. And just whack this fella back down here. So... Oh, and there's another one. Oh. <laughs> this is chaos. This is absolute chaos. Another little one. There's another one. 
what is going on? This is mental. There's still a squid on this teaser here. Every time I go to reel in that bloody thing, it's just not happening for me. All right, now is this the time. I can reel in this bloody teaser. I'm just keep an eye on that jig though. Go on, let go. Let go, there we go. Nice work, Mr. Squid. It's an important little tip there for you guys, for you fellow squidders out there. If you've got more than one line in the water, especially a teaser, and you let the squid just nail the teaser, and just let it just hold onto it for a while. If there's a pack, the other one will most definitely hit your uh, hit your jig just like that. And uh, this guy sort of tops off that little pack that was just hit just then. Look at that! Got another really good sized squid on here. We'll uh, oi, we let go. Oh, and he's got a mate. Oh, this is chaos. It's a good size mate as well. Oh, there's there's heaps of squid here. There's just heaps of squid. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What am I supposed to do? This is chaos. Freaking chaos right now. I think we found a bloody squid. Let's see if they can come in and eat it nice and close. Look at them racing in. Both racing in. Oh, there's like, there's heaps down there right now. This is outrageous. This is outrageous, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm multitasking. You never see a bloke multitask until you see him fish. There's another one. There's still two more down there. What is going on? This is ridiculous. This is silly. Silly, pineapple house, stop it. That big one's still on the teaser. And we've got another one. What is this? Surely that's it.